What's up everybody, this is Croat Code, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys on how to live stream on Twitch for absolutely free. Um, you don't have to pay a single cent for any software, this is a great way to stream on Twitch, and honestly one of the easiest ways. So, let's get started. What you guys are basically going to do is go ahead and uh, you're going to go to a website called obsproject.com. I have a link in the description, and what you guys are going to do is click on the Windows 7 slash 8 slash 10 green download button, and let your OBS download. Now also, make sure you make a Twitch account, of course. Uh, so once you have your Twitch account set up, uh, let your OBS download. And when it's done, you're going to go ahead and uh, click on it, install it, and you should be brought to a screen that looks just like this. Now the first thing you guys are going to want to do is click on settings. Now click on encoding and make sure that your um, settings look just like mine. Your max bit rate, put about 1000 or 2500. It all depends on your upload speed of your internet. But make sure it's not really low because by default, it might be on 64. If you put 64, your Twitch is going to look really, really blurry. So I would say leave it around 1,000 to 2,500. About there. That, that should be fine. Make sure you click apply. And then you guys are going to click on broadcast settings. Now what you guys are going to do is basically on mode, have it on live stream, streaming service Twitch, um, your closest location minus San Francisco. And what you guys are going to do, you're going to see this long black dots right here. Now what this is, um, it's your stream key. And basically what your stream key does, it allows you to connect to your Twitch services and allows you to stream. So you might be thinking, how do I get my stream key? Well, to get your stream key, make sure you're logged into your account. Click on your username and click on dashboard. Then you're going to click on stream key and click on show key. Now I repeat myself, do not, do not ever show your stream key to anybody um, if you make a tutorial on how to stream on twitch or for whatever reason make sure you never ever let anyone see your stream key the reason being is if somebody has your stream key they can literally stream on your twitch account and i'm pretty sure you don't want strangers on your twitch account so do not let people see your stream key you're gonna paste your stream key right here and basically um, if you guys want to save your stream to your computer or your hard drive you can take this box if you want to save it but you don't have to. So now what you're going to do is click on video. Click on custom on the base resolution and you guys are going to type in 1920 by 1080 for the best possible HD experience. Now you guys can also type in 1280 by 720 if your computer is a little bit slower. Either way it's good because uh, 1280 by 720 and 1920 by 1080 is both HD high definition so you can pick either one. Now go ahead and click on audio and basically you can select your audio device. I used a Yeti, so I'm going to leave it on Yeti. And now you guys have hotkeys. You can basically put hotkeys on your streaming. So let's say you want F9 to start streaming and F10 to stop. You can go ahead and put that. Now on advanced, make sure you guys copy down the same settings I have right here. Click OK when you're done. All right, guys, one thing I forgot to mention uh, before I rendered out this video was make sure on your game sounds right here, make sure you turn this all the way down to about the fourth block. Now, the reason being is you guys don't want to be playing a game. For instance, let's say you play Counter-Strike. Uh, you don't want your game sounds to be all the way loud and your mic all the way loud because then no one's going to be able to hear you well. All they're going to hear is your gunshots and it's going to be crazy. So make sure for the game volume, you turn it all the way down and your mic all the way up. Alright, now you guys are going to see your scenes right here. I'm going to go ahead and add a new scene. Right click, add scene, and type in Twitch. Alright, now we're going to add sources. Now the first thing I'm going to add is a game. Basically, as you guys can see, I have CSGO open in the background. So let's go ahead and add a game capture. Right click, uh, hover over add, and click on game capture. And I'm going to type in counter strike and hit OK. Now, as you guys can see, when I click the drop down menu, you should be able to see your game. If you don't, click on refresh, but make sure your game is open. Now, I highly suggest if you guys are streaming, make sure you tick on stretch image to screen. That way, it makes your um, Twitch just basically full screen your whole game. Leave it like that and click OK. Now, we're going to go ahead and add a webcam. So, video capture device. I'm going to type in webcam, hit OK. Select my webcam, which is the Logitech HD Pro C920 and click OK. Alright, so now let's go ahead and preview the stream. As you guys can see, you can only see me, myself, on the webcam. So what you can do is uh, go ahead and minimize your, or crop out your webcam so it's smaller. To do that, click on Edit Scene, and you guys can drag it down a bit, and you can move it around. 
Now, let's say I don't want this door showing right here. I can hold Alt on the side and go like that. There you go. Now resize it a bit so it matches and fits. That's basically it, but I'm going to leave it alone. All right. So now when I click it to Counter-Strike and I click back onto OBS, I'm able to see my game and basically myself. Now, the next thing you guys can do is add overlays. This is optional. You don't have to do this, but I personally prefer this because it makes your stream look really nice. So I'm going to right click on sources again, add image and let's type overlay. Click on browse and find your overlay. Now, if you want to get any free overlays, you guys can go on Google and look up uh, Twitch streaming overlays template and basically modify it on Photoshop. And there you go. As you guys can see, this is my overlay template. It makes the stream look really nice. So as you guys can see, my webcam is basically underneath the overlay. So what I have to do is make it overlap. So on webcam, right click, order, move up, and basically resize so it fits perfectly there you go now it looks good so now I'm gonna stop the preview now we're gonna start streaming click into the game when you're streaming and as you guys can see the stream has started so now when I go to twitch.tv slash croat code you're gonna be able to see my uh, stream now I leave my twitch muted because if your twitch sound is on and you're streaming at the same time you might get an audio loop so if you have two monitors like me and you read chat Make sure that your uh, Twitch on here is muted. And there you guys go. That's basically all you got to do. Now, let's say you want to record your monitor instead of Counter-Strike. Well, you can do the same thing. Let me stop the stream. Um, delete the Counter-Strike. And basically, you can right-click, add, monitor capture. And let's type in PC screen. Click OK. So when I preview it, as you guys can see, there's a vortex right there. That's basically me recording my... Um, screen now I'm gonna add the overlay move it up move it up again and of course order and move my webcam to top and there you go that's how easy it is to stream on twitch um, if you guys have any questions let me know you're watching Croat Code thank you so much make sure you guys follow my twitch account and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time